Hello YouTube, Steve here with a quick update on what's happening in YouTube news and politics. We begin today with filmmakers Annabelle Park and Eric Byler, whose YouTube channel 9500 Liberty chronicles the national immigration debate through the local prism of Prince William County, Virginia, where local officials are trying to pass anti-immigration law through the city council. Now, this conflict has erupted at 9500 Liberty Street, where a large banner hangs that reads, Stop Your Hispanic Racism Now. I'm talking about what? No. Are you saying? I'm sorry, y'all. Why am I upset? Yeah, I just want to understand. Okay, I went to Lowe's today, and the cashier was speaking Spanish. I particularly don't enjoy speaking Spanish in my country. Now, by uploading clips of their film straight to YouTube instead of waiting to release a longer, sort of feature-length documentary. Park and Byler are starting the conversation of immigration virtually in real time, and it's a conversation worth taking a look at. The Washington Post actually chronicled the whole series on the front page of their paper over the weekend. Well, with the 2008 election just about a year away now, Congress is getting in on the game here on YouTube with a couple of videos in the past month worth taking a look at. First of all, on the Republican side of the aisle, the National Republican Congressional Committee has released a video asking for you to make an ad for them based on the slogan, Has the Democratic Congress Worked for You? And the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee is in on the action as well. They have a special website asking for your YouTube videos that catch Republicans making mistakes. Blinded by your hatred of this country. You're not a citizen, you're a political hack. Well, the President of Spain, Jose Zapatero, has made his YouTube debut recently with a video lampooning his own linguistic skills. President Zapatero apparently pronounces many words in which the sound is supposed to be D with the sound Z, much like his last name, Zapatero. Now he's used this fact to make fun of himself and say that when it comes to issues that really matter to the Spanish people, he is in sync with the rest of the country. So, President Zapatero, welcome to YouTube. Uh, we're sure that you'll do really well here. And finally today, a quick recommendation on three vloggers you should check out here on YouTube. First, Conservative Voice USA is a prolific vlogger who has lots to say on Democratic incompetence and the 2008 election. Well, folks, how'd you like Hillary last night? Did she stink the place up or what? <laughs> Second, Lil Volca is a Democrat turned Ron Paul supporter who has lots of vlogs on politics worth checking out. And finally, Stuart Zamudio is a former National Guard poster boy who's now speaking out against the war. Because if you give up your freedom of speech, you lose your sense of self. You give a part of, of your soul up. And that's definitely not what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my freedom of speech in whichever way I please. 